Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you my fall essentials for health and wellness. I love everything about fall, it's my absolute favorite season. Um, and I have been loving a lot of products and recipes that I wanted to share with you in this video So stay tuned for the video, but while I have you here, please subscribe down below Give me a like and a comment if you like this kind of content and want to see more of it So my number one fall essential for overall well-being and relaxation is Bath and Body Works fall candles As you can see back here, I've got a little guy burning That is the um, pumpkin pecan Con waffles scent. I've been burning it 24 7 and my family loves it. They're like, what are you baking? Oh my god. I'm like, I just have a candle lit. Uh, it's great. I uh, love burning candles in the fall time especially. It just kind of puts you in a good mood. Um, it's the first thing I do when I get home and I'm ready to wind down. I just light up a candle, lay in bed, and I am like so zen and relaxed. Um, so recently Bath & Body Works actually had a sale on their big three wick candles, so I stocked up. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's a lot. I, got, I think I got about eight candles, um, but I will burn through these suckers in like four months, so I'm not worried about it. Um, when you can get them on sale, they're really worth it, much cheaper than the full price, so I don't feel too guilty about it. First one I got is this one. It's so, so pretty. It says thankful on it, and um, the scent is sweet cinnamon pumpkin, and oh my god, so, so good, and then I also got the gather scent i love the color of this too just such a good fall scent and then i also got caramel pumpkin swirl wow can you tell that i like pumpkin oh so good i got a couple others too that are more generic like i think i got a cinnamon vanilla one for when i'm not trying to kill my whole family with pumpkin i used to do this little um like half up half down pony thing all the time like in high school and college, who am I kidding? Um, but I'm just now like getting back into it and I think it's like kind of fun. What do you think? I kind of look like a three-year-old, but I like it. Okay, my second fall essential is books and reading. Obviously, I just graduated college and I did more reading there than I ever, ever wanted to, um, but that kind of reading wasn't really that interesting and therefore I didn't totally enjoy it all of the time. Um, so reading for pleasure in the fall is a great activity. You can kind of um, put your phone away, take your eyes off your computer, let your mind relax um, and get into a really good book. So I picked up a couple from Barnes and Nobles that I will share with you. Um, I got You Are a Badass, um, How to Stop Doubting Your Greatness and Start Living an Awesome Life by Jen Sincero. Um, I've seen this book everywhere. I'm sure you have too. It's all over um, Pinterest and Instagram and all that stuff. It has really good reviews. Um, and I kind of scanned the front of it and it looked like something that I would really like. So I picked that one up. And then <laughs> my dad actually picked this up for me. Um, maybe a subtle hint that I need to uh, get my shit together. Um, it's called Welcome to Adulting, Navigating Faith, Friendship, Finances, and the Future uh, by Jonathan J.P. Oh, cool duh with Kevin McConaughey oh, I can't read obviously I need to read this because I don't know how to read it sounds like it's a good book to kind of just see how other people view this weird time in my life um, post college when you officially become an adult as they say I don't really feel like an adult um, but I think I will give this one a try just to make my dad happy at least the last one that I'm really really excited for is called the woman in the window Ooh. It's giving me a lot of like Alfred Hitchcock vibes, which is like my favorite director of all time. Um, so I am really excited to read this. It's by AJ Flynn. Um, it's kind of like a mystery thriller novel. Um, and then actually the um, author of Gone Girl gave it a really good review and Stephen King gave it a really good review. So it's bound to be really, really good. I definitely recommend taking some time this season to um, take some time for yourself and sit down with a book that you um, that is really meaningful to you or that you will really enjoy for pleasure. Um, I don't think any of us take enough time for ourselves um, and reading is so good for your mind and your spirit and your body. Um, so take some time 
in the next couple of months to pick out a really good book and really delve deep into it and let go of the phone and the laptop and the TV for 20 minutes a day. So another thing that I've been really into this fall is taking vitamins um, and I have two specifically that have been life changers as of the past couple of weeks and I've been taking them religiously every day. First one is extra strength biotin gummies. Um, biotin is really great for your hair growth, your nail growth, and your skin overall beauty. Um, I take two of these little gummies a day and they are blueberry flavored. I tend to always cut my hair short in the summer and then want it to grow back out in the fall and winter so biotin is great for that and it also is really good for growing out your nails and um, giving you better skin. B12 vitamins, I have noticed a huge difference in my energy levels throughout the day. I'm trying not to consume a ton of caffeine. Um, I normally maybe have coffee or tea once or twice a week, but when I take these, I am like ready to go conquer the day. So I definitely recommend both of these. I have been taking both of these religiously for the past couple of months, but what I love the most about these is that they're really, really tasty. Um, the B12 ones are a raspberry flavor and the Biotin are a blueberry flavor. And I have these both first thing in the morning and I love them. Actually, I haven't taken these yet today. I'm gonna take them right now because they are delicious. Mm -mm -mm. They literally taste like, um, you remember those like Scooby-Doo snacks you'd eat as a kid? They taste like the Scooby-Doo ones. You really need to chew them thoroughly. It's literally like eating candy, healthy candy. Okay, so next up are some fall essentials for the body. First is the Ultra Repair Cream from First Aid Beauty. I love this stuff. It is such an intense, thick moisturizer that really like seeps into the skin and makes it feel so moisturized and soft. I have especially dry skin, so in the winter time, I feel like my skin is gonna crack off my body if I don't use this stuff, so highly recommend this. I've used this thing for years and I love the First Aid Beauty brand. Um, and then for the body, I've been using the Righteous Butter Body Lotion from Soap and Glory. This brand is amazing. I've already been using the body soap in the shower in the exact same brand and scent as this. Um, and I found the lotion to be the exact same scent and really, really hydrating. Um, it's got shea butter, almond oil, aloe vera, rose hip seed, vitamin E, and it has a really gorgeous, uh, citrusy flavor which I love um, and it really helps to lock in the moisture all over your body. These two together have been saving my skin and I highly recommend if you have dry skin at all or if you get drier in the winter time better to um, combat that with than these products. Along those same lines of um, keeping your body healthy during this cold time of the year um, obviously no one is laying out and tanning in the middle of fall, at least in Indiana, it gets really cold here. And with the medication that I'm on for my skin, I'm actually really sensitive to um, sunburn, so I try and stay out of the sun as much as possible. But whenever I want that really nice, healthy, bronzy glow of a natural tan, this is the stuff I use. It's the Saint Tropez Self Tan Express Bronzing Mousse. Um, this is the advanced one hour tan. You just shake it up, put it on this wonderful mitt, rub it all over, um, let it sit for however long you want. It can be an hour, it could be three hours. I leave mine on overnight and then I shower the next day. Um, so you really can't overdo it. I find that doing that overnight treatment really locks in the tan. It doesn't look orange or unnatural on me, I don't think. Um, and I've really loved it, um, especially if you know that you're going out with friends and taking a lot of pictures or if you have a big event and you really wanna look your best, um, this stuff is amazing. Okay, sorry, brief hiatus, my camera died, so I had to charge that and then I ate breakfast and now I'm back. The last two um, fall essentials for health and wellness, um, I want to show you guys some recipes that I've been really loving. The first is an amazing skinny chai tea um, latte protein shake. That's a lot of words in there, um, but it's basically a protein supplemented skinny chai tea latte. Um, I've been having this a lot lately because I love chai tea, especially in the fall. And as you guys know, I have a hard time getting my protein in because I'm really picky about meat. 
Um, so I find that supplementing with a whey protein powder um, is really helpful for me. So I've been trying to find a really good recipe that I like for the fall and I think this one is a winner. So for this recipe for my um, chai tea latte protein shake, I am going to add about half of a bottle of this Adwala uh, chai vanilla protein drink. I'm going to add this as my liquid base. And then I am going to toss in, I've got some frozen banana. I'm gonna to toss in half of one frozen banana. And then I'm going to add one scoop of um, my favorite uh, protein brand. It's unflavored whey protein powder. Um, it just tastes like nothing and you can add it into anything and it doesn't even change the texture at all. So I love that. I'm gonna add one heaping scoop of that. Just a big handful, two handfuls of ice to make it cold and milkshake-like. Um, and then we are going to blend and hope for the best. Next, I'm just gonna um, add a couple dashes of ground cinnamon to really amp up that um, fall chai flavor, just like that. Really can't add too much. And then gently blend that. And it is a pretty good portion, so I'm gonna use one of these really big kind of uh, Yeti style mugs and one of my metal straws. Save the turtles use the metal straws. All right, so then we're just gonna pour this in about three fourths of the way full, which is great. And then last step, but very important, I'm going to sprinkle on about a teaspoon to a tablespoon of um, black chia seeds. These are really high in protein and um, are a great source of fiber. And I just like them because they're kind of fun and get a little bubbly and they don't taste like anything. So I can put them on top of whatever. And just sprinkle that on top. And then eventually I'll just kind of mix it all in. Um, but yeah, that's the entire uh, protein shake. I think it's really fun to switch up your um, normal recipes during the fall time to really get you in the mood for the season. Um, so I would normally have a green protein smoothie or whatever, but in the fall, now I'm gonna have a skinny chai tea protein shake. Um, so I think it's really fun to change it up so you don't get tired of the same old boring things every day. Um, and find something that you really love and that you enjoy to make um, this lifestyle change really maintainable. If you enjoy it, you will continue to do it. Um, next recipe that I wanna show you for the fall time is a protein packed chickpea pasta recipe. I have loved chickpea pasta for a while now, um, but especially in the fall, I love having a really satisfying, warm, bowl meal to have at night um, and it also helps that it is a chickpea pasta recipe so the chickpea pasta has a lot of protein in comparison to normal pasta um, and a lot less carbs than normal pasta so I've been really enjoying it lately can hardly taste the difference between the chickpea pasta and a normal pasta um, and I'm gonna show you how I make that for myself and then how I make extra to have throughout the week as a kind of a meal prep Okay, so in this box there are four two ounce servings, so I'm just going to add the entire thing since we're all sharing this meal and then we'll portion it out as we eat it. So like I said, this is the Banza brand, um, Rotini version, and this is a chickpea pasta alternative. A two ounce serving is 190 calories, 32 grams of carbs and 14 grams of protein per serving. So for pasta, it's pretty good. And we're just gonna let that cook for 10 minutes or so. 
So for this recipe, I am using the Classico tomato and basil pasta sauce and um, organic spinach from Kroger. So I'm going to combine these into a um, large saucepan on the oven to warm them up as our pasta cooks so the spinach will wilt down and the pasta sauce will get all warm. Um, they'll all combine in together and then when the pasta is done I'm going to add just a little bit of mozzarella cheese on top. This is the low moisture part skin mozzarella cheese from Kroger. So one serving of this pasta sauce is half of a cup, but because I'm making four servings of pasta, I'm going to double that and do a full cup. I'm gonna add a pretty good handful of spinach because it will welt down really tiny in this. So look at this little spoon, a little baby spoon. I'm just gonna mix that spinach in with the sauce. I've got this burner on low. I'm just going to Kind of get that going in there. Pro tip I've learned from my mother, um, when you're boiling pasta, if um, it looks like it's going, the water's going to boil over the pot, put your um, wooden spoon in the middle of the pot and it kind of makes it, the um, bubbles like rotate or something and it doesn't boil over, I guess, I don't know. I think I might just add um, the rest of that um, sauce there's not very much left. I think I'm just going to add the rest of that because technically I should do like at least three cups of this sauce because I'm making four servings of pasta. Okay, our pasta is done. I'm going to drain out the water. I'm not totally sure how much pasta I'm gonna need or how much sauce I have. just got home and we are ready to eat. Look how beautiful. So in here, this mix is just the pasta sauce, the pasta and the spinach. And then now I'm gonna add a little bit of cheese. Okay, so I added just a little bit of cheese just to kind of, th oh, look at that, oh, thicken it up. Um, the only thing I would change about this recipe if we had it was um, chopped grilled chicken breast. Um, that just adds more protein, makes it a little heartier, um, but we don't have any right now, so this is going to be just fine. Okay, so I just split up um, two servings here. I've got another two over in the pan to um, keep for meal prep for the week, but look how good that looks. Yum. Now, I think I'm going to put the rest of it in here, if it'll fit. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is the final product. It is so, so good. You have to try it out and let me know what you think. So for a two ounce serving, which is what this is with the sauce and the spinach, um, it's about 260 calories per serving, um, which is great, super low cal dinner. That completes this video. Um, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and that you found something, um, hopefully that you can add into your routine that will become an essential for you this season. Um, I had a lot of fun showing you everything that I'm loving right now, and I will be back soon with another new video. Have a good one. Bye, guys.